What kind of dog is that? It's the Kubi Monster Dog. We're gonna take a quick look at it first day in pockets. Here comes the logo. So guys, this is a fun knife. This came from Jared. This is the Kubi Monster Dog in 20 CV. I have only been carrying it for a couple of hours now. I carried it while I was filming some other stuff. And uh, yeah, we're getting around to it finally. Uh, I say finally, but it only showed up just a few days ago. Guys, I'm going to apologize. I know that there's some weirdness to the order of videos and things that I say into videos, but I don't have a set release date. So um, this could come and go uh, in, in, the, in the list of knife, uh, videos that are going to go up. So like I said, Kubi Monster Dog, this thing is so far really fun in pocket. Uh, it is kind of bulky. I will tell you that it is a little bit bulky. Um, not a big knife lengthwise, but it definitely has got some bulk and heft to it. When I say heft, I don't mean heavy. I mean, it's just kind of, I really don't know what I'm trying to say here, but it is a lot of fun. Let's get some stuff out for some size comparison first off. So you guys can see up close what we're looking at for size. So the first one is the QSP Penguin, um, another, you know, a lot of you guys know the size of that. You're looking pretty much one for one on that QSP Penguin. Um, it, it's not a real big knife. Uh, QSP Penguin comes in right at seven and a quarter ish on the mat scale. Uh, so the next one is the Benchmade 940. Uh, as you can see, good bit longer, um, a, a good bit longer, but this is a much skinnier knife than that is overall. Uh, so your last size comparison, as always, is the Chris Reeves Sabenza, because pretty much everybody knows at this point the size of a Chris Reeves Sabenza 21 large. So yeah, you can see it's a fairly small as short knife. Uh, it's not real long. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. Guys, I hate to interrupt the video because I know we're having fun, but I do have to do the YouTuber thing and remind you that this channel is self-sponsored with all the affiliate links and stuff you see down below. Anything from knives, tools, EDC gear, and uh, Blade HQ, anything, all the Amazon links, they all support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. So I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now let's go back to the knives. And do a quick just walk around look at the knife. So this came from Jared and the second I opened up the the packet, the you know, the little zipper pouch it was in, I was pretty happy with it. As you can see, I've been messing around with it all day. Uh, it's kind of a short stubby knife with a little bit, it's got, it's one of those knives that is out of character for me liking because I like more symmetry, like one to one uh, blade to handle ratio, but this is this is out of character. One of those knives I really like. It is comfortable, comfortable in hand because it's nice and big. If you're doing heavy cutting, like I have found myself thinking, this would be a nice knife if you're on a work site and wearing gloves because you got a good grip, um, you have good purchase, and the blade lends itself to cutting really well. Um, lock bar access as well is pretty good if you're in gloves because you got a big area. Like I, you guys know, I got big hands. We're talking triple XL gloves, um, beefy hands. You can get down in there if you were in gloves. You could do as well. Uh, the thumb studs are big. Everything about it just is a little bit oversized, kind of. Uh, and I'm digging that. The the big thumb studs are really easy to manipulate. It doesn't take any pressure, really. Action on it is... The, the Kubis have really started stepping up. The Kubi knives, they've really started stepping up their game when it comes to the internals. The mechanism on it and everything, the smoothness. Um, the lock bar cutout is one that... It is on the exterior, but it's kind of shielded, so it doesn't catch material too badly. I will say it, 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 they are a little sharp. If they had been a little maybe a little smaller or closer together. Um, I mean, I don't know what all entails having th this size, but they do catch a little bit, but not bad. Uh, pocket clip on it is really comfortable and you've got a really good finish on it with this blasted, like glass bead blasted finish on the titanium and then titanium hardware that has been anodized to match the backspacer and everything, great pocket clip. Everything matches in color, which is good. I'm a fan of good, well done anodizing on materials. So yeah, this is this is going to be one that I like, of course, with that. Then you have this really unique blade shape. And it's not so much that the blade shape is unique. It's the, it's the profile of the blade. The shape is just kind of your standard 
sheep's foot with a rounded belly. You know, sometimes sheep's foot have more rounded bellies than, than others, but it's this cutout here. And I looked at it at first and I thought it was just an aesthetic choice, but the more I was been messing, the more I have been messing around with it, it's got some real useful features. If you're doing some cutting like this, or if you're like pushing material up on it, like maybe you're cutting tubing or something, you can get way up on it. You can get your whole hand here and use the whole front of that blade to swipe across stuff. And then you've got this really good jimping on the spine, which I'm not joking, is really good jimping. You guys have heard me talk about, I, I'm not a fan of jimping just for aesthetics. I don't find jimping attractive. But when it's done functionally, I'm a fan of it. And that is nice and sharp and crisp. And you get a good, uh, a good bit of purchase on it. I just wish that this was a little taller. Maybe maybe make this jimping a little bit more aggressive. But it, because when I say that, it's because you lose some of this where it ramps up. Uh, you can see where it's, it's there, but then it's underneath the scales. So... Um, Maybe look at something like it, but drag it. Like I said, it grabs and it does catch the material of the skin really well. I think it would be more pronounced in gloves. Uh, the blade stock thickness behind the edge thickness, it is a little thick. I do have to admit it is a little thick and I did find that it didn't cut as smoothly as some of the other knives I've had come in. But look at the blade stock thickness. If you're somebody that wants a robust knife blade stock thickness, that is a big chunk of steel. So, I mean, you can only transition it down so far. I think that this would have benefited from a hollow grind. I, I mean, we'll see how it does over the next coming days, but I did have some stuff that had gotten shipped. Um, I got some medications that were shipped. It came in a cardboard container uh, to Brent Crushing. I cut it up. I cut up a couple Amazon boxes, and then I grabbed some stuff for my neighbor to do it. There is a bit of a grind issue. You can kind of see it down here um, on the very heel where it widens a little bit. Uh, from side to side and there's a little bit of almost a recurve here not such a big deal what I am a fan of is in since this doesn't have a flipper tab you don't have a finger guard but the way it comes up is nice and then you've got this jimping here which actually does grab and you can feel it and you're pinched in there so it does carry really well uh, the only thing I would say is it's kind of dimensionally it's large it's really thick and it's broad, so it is kind of a pocket hog, but it's not heavy. So if you look in here, they've done a lot, and I mean a lot of weight reduction, even on the lock bar. So the lock bar is even got weight reduction forward and aft of the cutout for the lock bar. And then the show scale is really heavily pocketed. So you get a really good uh, amount of weight reduction. And another cool thing that they did, they didn't need to, but if you look, they matched this pattern here on both sides. So it's symmetrical. But if you're looking at it from this side, you really can't see it. Um, there is not really a sharp spot here. This could have been chamfered over a little bit. I wanted to mention that a little bit more. They kind of have but it's still a little bit sharp, but nowhere near as bad as some of the other knives that I've had on the channel. And then final thing, so far, pocket clip tension has been just about perfect. It doesn't seem like it wants to slide around either in track pants. Uh, I wear track pants as pajamas around a house. And so when I get up in the morning, I, I usually will have those on for a couple hours just to give a, a good walk around test of whatever is going in my pocket for that day. Does this walk around in thinner jeans? Like if I was wearing a pair of slacks, would this walk front to back or, or change position and pocket? And so far, it absolutely has not. The tension is just about perfect. And like I said, it's well removed from both the lock bar. So even when the lock bar deploys, you've got your pocket clip does not like drop onto your lock bar. It's not putting any actual pressure on a lock bar and it's well removed from the cutout. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed so far with this. And I do like the fact, once again, for those of you guys that like lanyards, I don't want you to be left out in the wind when I say I hate lanyard holes. I wish more companies would do this and have a spot in the backspacer where you can put a lanyard on it where it's out of the way of the, the bite of the blade. So it's not going to get cut because there are guys that have really expensive beads on their lanyards like this, like this glow in the dark octopus with the glow in the dark art, eyes, I should say. I know there's a lot of guys that have really expensive beads on their lanyards and if their lanyard got cut and they lost it, I mean, 
literally I've got, I've seen guys have beads that cost over a hundred dollars on lanyards, on knives. So if that's something you're into, you still have that option, but it's in a protected fashion and it doesn't change the aesthetics of the knife. And like I said, action on it, just great. So first day in pockets on this has went really well. So, um, I'm going to say, let's turn this around and we'll do some final thoughts and, um, I'll send you out about your day. There you go, guys. The Kubi monster dog. It's it's fun to have it in my pocket. It is a little bit bulky, like I said, so we'll see how it carries over the next however long it is, because these videos don't go up in order. It might be two weeks from now to the time it actually winds up in the video rotation and schedule. I'm currently about I'm a little bit more than a week ahead on filming, editing, and uploading, so that means that there's a lot of stuff that gets shuffled in. So, guys, that's it on this one. Uh, I'll put a link if you're interested in this, I'll put a link uh, as a both a pinned comment and in the description. Guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but tell me why I can't change the content. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, it's simple, like, simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you get notifications turned on your device or you will not get notified of the pretty much nine videos, five shorts, three live feeds that go up plus members only stuff which leads us to the member stuff. Guys, if you wanna support the channel financially, there's a handful of ways. I have a membership down below that is tier-based. Everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. Everyone has access to my Gilded server. Premium and baseline tier members are automatically entered in giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And if you're a premium tier member, you have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube that I've built specifically for them. Other ways you can do it. Like I said, I have a ton of affiliate links down below. Anything you purchase, supports the channel and it doesn't cost you anything at checkout including the blade hq all those links they're great um and the final way is i have a merchandise store on ember shirt co you can pick up my merchandise at a discount with the coupon code crazy sharp capital c capital s all one word saves you 10 percent at checkout and if you purchase my merchandise i will give you i will put your picture uh, it, if you purchase my merchandise and send me a picture of you wearing it, I will put it in the video behind me when we do the outro. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.